Alrighty, howdy guys. So here we are working on this Chinese quad. Um, this is actually a higher end Chinese quad. This is going to be a Mongo. So this is up in the realm of the Yamahas and the Hondas of the world. Um, yeah, so the issue I was having with it, um, no spark, no spark, no spark and no spark. Everybody has no spark with these quads. If you have a Chinese one, you're in bad shape. But, um, so pretty much, um, no spark condition. You know, the previous owner had a heck of a problem. You know, this is their old harness. You know, I installed a couple things off of the harness. Um, they have splice wires, all type of stuff going on in there. You know, they were trying to troubleshoot and fix it themselves. You know, which we're all out here trying to do. Um, that's why I'm putting this video out here. So you know, that gentleman or you know future gentlemen you know, can fix their stuff, you know, instead of going through all the BS, you know. At some point you get tired of it and you just like rip the whole thing out and that's exactly the thing to do. Rip the whole thing out. Just rip all of the electrical out of the thing and, you know, redo it. And there is a way. Um, the best way that I've came up with, you know, just from hours of troubleshooting, you know, you have safety switches, brick switches, kill switches, all type of switches that'll stop it from sparking. You know, the, the thing is safety doubt, so you know, it causes us a big headache. Let's do it yourself, guys. Um, so, this has a kickstart, which is good, you know, so I just switched it right over to, you know, a kickstart kit. Well, it's not exactly as basic as a kickstart, you know. Um, it has a starter, you know, so you can run a starter independent of your harness, you know, which is a simple system is negative and positive. Um, if you have some wires, you could run a uh, um, solenoid to it. Ah, come here. You could run a little solenoid to it, then run some cables off of that to your battery. Um, yeah, run some cables off of that to your battery and, you know, jump it or put a switch in it to actually start it. Um, you could do either or. But, you know, I just put that in there just in case somebody wanted to run, you know, uh, um, run a blah, 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 run a starting switch. Um, I don't really care for a starting switch. Um, I just want the thing to run. And I'm pretty sure there's a lot of you guys out there that's feeling the same way. So let's get to it. So as I already said, I ripped all of the old harness out. And what I switched over to was a kickstart um, style harness, you know, which is a lot simpler, you know. Um, I stole it off of that little Baja 70 right there, you know. Um, so let's get right to it. What I end up doing. I'm going to call this an armature. Um, I'm forgetting the name of it offhand, but you know, um, that's what I know, you know, those type of things to do. It's an armature. I'm pretty sure it should be the same across, you know, small engines. Um, so, or a nishin coil or armature or however you will, it sends a spark to. Um, the coil in order to send the spark to the spark plug to the night in the chamber to dry, ultimately drive the vehicle. So, this little thing right here, this ended up being a problem with this um, vehicle altogether. But, you know, it's a little out of the novice category. Um, you need specialty tools and stuff like that in order to kind of get to this or test it if you wanted to. So one of the main tools you're going to need to, um, no, you don't absolutely need this, but if you want to test the stator and all that type of stuff, um, you're going to need this. You're going to need this good old handy dandy flywheel tool. Um, and all it is is um, threaded. Um, it has a hole on the inside so that it can go around um, the screw here. Um, take, that, take that nut off there. Um, that allow the flywheel to come out with this tool, not without it. Uh, you could, you know, figure some type of way to get it out, but I'm pretty sure none are as effective as this. So you just screw it into the flywheel, 
and then you're gonna screw that um, into the device it's gonna push on the screw or push on a bolt which is gonna um, these threads are gonna grab the flower out and it's gonna pull it right out you know easy as one two three um, is two sizes this is the size for I think this is like a 30 or something like that or 26 don't quote me um, I forget the size but this size fits this pretty well um, the other size fits for the Baja um, I had to change some um, seals on it so this came in handy so what you would do is just screw that out of there put it in this side and then screw this into the flat wheel of the different size sorry I'm a little I can just I was riding my bike and it's pretty cold out. I prayed outside for a couple hours, so you know, I got a little cold up in the chest on the nasal passages. So sorry for all the sniffling. So yeah, what you pretty much do, you're gonna take your flower out behind your flower will rest your um, stator. This vehicle particularly had this style stator. This is. Um, I had this like eight point. You see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, four, six, eight. Oh, okay. This was an eight point stator. Um, but I ended up putting in there was a six point, six point stator. Um, so what you want to do is, um, since I'm going over to Kickstart, um, it's a lot simpler in the Kickstart. So. I went for a six point. Um, you have some statters that are not like that. They are like this. Um, this is not the one you want for this particularly. Um, simply because it's not going to line up. It's not going to line up behind a flywheel, and it's not going to line up over the flywheel. So what you need is that six point statter. Or eight point, whatever you want to go with. I recommend maybe the six since you're switching over the whole system. Um, the wiring is going to be different for the eight point as opposed to the six point. So, again, pull out the flywheel behind it. It's two bolts that hold on the stator. Um, take the stator out, place it with your six point. Your six point is going to have a wire for the um, armature and a wire for the stator um, which is real simple it crosses right over into your um, new harness or your old harness whatever it is um, so you just connect those two wires simple as simple as one two three and then you're going to ground it um, I have it ground to the side of the starter um, just connect those two wires you know, make sure you do it nice and neat and make sure you weatherize it, use some, um, whatever you call those things, can't think right now. Oh yeah, little butt connectors, little weatherized butt connectors that when you heat them, they create a weatherproof cell. That's optimum, you know, since you're dealing with an all-terrain vehicle. Um, so you connect those two. I have mine connected to a ground as well. The ground actually splices into the harness down here, um, somewhere around here. So I have two wires. One actually going to the, um, gosh, I can't think these days. Well, you know what it is. I'm pretty sure you've been looking at it as beginning all your god dang on nerves. <laughs> But yeah, one going to the computer, ultimately, that's a good one. Go on to the computer, and one splice to go to your ground. Um, so you have that, and you're, you know, you're cooking with fish grease, almost. Um, this is actually to my kill switch, so my kill switch connects into, this connects into my kill switch. Um, so, going to connect your two wires the green and the black that should be universal across the board um, so you connect them to your green and your black that's actually going to the coil the coil runs to the engine and provides you your spark 
Um, that right there will get you ignition, you know, and you should be good from there, you know, reassemble, you know, all the easy stuff. I'm pretty sure if you made it to this video, you're probably at the hard stuff right now, so you probably know how to take this thing apart as it is. Um, that's my fan that goes onto my flywheel, you know, and a bunch of other parts that go who know where. Um, but anyway, that's how you do it. Oh, another thing that I did, you know, since um, this, um, this ATV, um, it's high end, so you know, of course, it had to have some electronics with the, with the carburetor, you know. So I took that out, and I put in, you know. A more simpler but bigger carburetor you know it don't have any electronics to it it's just straightforward um gas driven you know so that's that's all i have for you guys like comment subscribe share i just wanted to get this pivotal information out there for you sorry the video was so long but i know this will help a lot of you do it yourself guys um i'm one of them too you know i learn as i go um but anyway like comment subscribe share whatever you do however you do just make sure you do take it easy peace